You're watching the players now. Your wish is our design. When a girl wears fairy tales, she's living her own. She's a princess. She feels like a mermaid. She can be anything she wants to be. We customize, so you can say, I want a pink fairy with purple wings and a, a green tiara and a big magic wand. And um, basically, we'll make it. That's, that's kind of what we're specializing in. My inspiration was, I've always liked to decorate. And um, I really actually never knew I had it in me to make all this stuff. Uh, because I've always act, acted and modeled and kind of lived my fairy tale world in that industry. And then once I had a baby, I had to stay home and uh, I had to get creative and start using my brain. <laughs> and all of a sudden, all this magic happened. I had a lot of time to daydream and fantasize of being, you know, characters like this. And so basically, I brought them to life. My grandma made my prom gowns. She made all my birthday cakes. Um, like she, I tell her I want Scott Bayo on my birthday cake, and Scott Bayo would be on my birthday. <laughs> she made me Cinderella's castle when I was four, a whole big castle. So yeah, she's she's good at everything. She's uh, definitely been um, an inspiration to me. You know, every time I make one, that's the fantasy one that I have. So it's like I can't really pick out a favorite because as I make it, that's my fantasy costume. And then I go on to the next one, and then that's my fantasy costume. So I think they're all my favorites. I wouldn't really, I know they're all fantasies to me. I don't, it's, I think it's whatever mood I'm feeling in is, you know, that's my favorite at that time. costume it's not really lingerie I don't it's this is all costume it's all fantasy it's all yeah it's completely costume I haven't tried many on because I can't fit into most of them up here <laughs> they're like a little too small for me they're like a some of them were like B cups so I've probably tried maybe two or three and plus I haven't had time because I'm constantly just you know getting my hands dirty and paint all over the place so, but I did get to today I uh, was actually the first one to shoot one of the costumes, so it was kind of fun to be the model again. The shoot today is, is it's for fun, it's for, um, you know, maybe just some pictures for the website. We're up and new coming, and it's basically just for everybody to kind of get some shots for themselves um, and kind of just kind of brand the fairy tales. As they go onto the stage, they're going to be in a very angelic, sweet, you know, demeanor. But then when they leave his stage, they go to Antonio, who's the vampire, to his part of the world, and then that's when they get a little bit more naughty, a little bit more playful, and uh, you know, they kind of crossed over to the bad side. So that's kind of the whole plot for the whole fashion show we're doing. Now this is just half of what we have because I have a partner. Um, her name's Heather. And uh, basically, she goes by Scorpio because we decided we're going to have fairy tale names since we're creating this whole fairy tale world. So I'm Fantastasia, and she's Heather McIntyre, aka Scorpio, which we'll meet her. She'll meet her in a little bit. But she's bringing about 13 costumes as well. Hers are a little bit more edgier. A little bit more on the, you know, the, like the sexier, kind of darker side. So um, you'll get to see some of hers. Mine are, like I said, uh, on the light, kind of snow white, deep, deep, deep side. As fairies like to be pretty and dainty and uh, all that good stuff. <laughs> yeah, but it's mainly women. We do a little bit of guy stuff, but mostly ex ex they accessorize the fairy tale. Because most guys don't like to wear too much pink and green and glitter. <laughs> so. When a girl wears fairy tales, she's living her own. She's a princess. She feels like a mermaid. She can be anything she wants to be, but we can all kind of make our fairy tale come true.
This has been a presentation of Players Network.